Gang Gang. Hey, hey, how's it going, folks? It's been five months since I've last written. It's been three months since my last video, and based on the last video, a lot of changes have been happening. I moved out, put on a new space for my helmet, and they're not yet hung. They used to be hung with the Gakimoto helmet holders that you can get. And I was so ready for 2020, was working on a TV show, supposedly, and I was supposed to go bike shopping! All my plans whew, down the drain. Well, not down the drain, but, you know, put on hold. I went on vacation and I came back and it's the pandemic and the lockdown, so there's not much we can do but stay at home. It's the little that we can do to help. My mom's a senior and I work with a lot of seniors in my fitness job. So I was like being all emo, working from home, doing other things with my new job. A lot of people have been down and the new social media has been so depressing. So I took a bit of a break, but now I figured it's time to get Yakimoto back on the road, yo. Let the good vibes roll. Let the good vibes roll. <laughs> to start a moto vlog. First you have to have your social media platforms where you're going to upload your videos. Like, subscribe, follow my social media accounts. Facebook.com slash Gakimoto. Instagram at Gaki underscore girl. And YouTube.com slash Gakimoto. Woo! Next thing you need, obviously, to ride safe, you need your helmet. Now I'm pulling out the gear. Ugh. They're just all there on the shelf. They're not hung. They're nice and small, like my head. This is my helmet, which I use for my daily rides. It's a little Schubert S2 Sport. So you're going to need your helmet for safety, and then you're going to need a camera set. Now, I've been using a GoPro Hero Force for the longest time. Very reliable, and they're cheap, and you can get so many. Accessories are easy to come by. But people have been saying to upgrade to something that's more stable, apparently. My footage isn't very stable. I have over here with me a Hero 5. Thank you to my friend who gave me the Hero 5. And a Hero 8 Black. Thank you to my subscriber, Mr. C. Dolan, for giving me the Hero 8. Thank you so much from the bottom of my Gakimoto heart. And previously, I used to use a strap-on. Yeah, remember the old one, the belt? Nowadays, I have this lovely, lovely thing from Dango. What it is, it's a gripper mount. And this is tried and tested at high speeds if you've been watching my videos. Well, I had to cut a hole here on the chin guard. And then you could just put that in there. If you're using the new GoPro, it comes with these little flimsy legs, which I'm not such a fan of. It's like, GoPro, you know, time to step up your game. I'll be trying the Hero 8 now because of the stability for vibrating motorcycles. And the giant vibrators that we ride. There. Dango grip is standard and it fits in a lot of my other helmets. Maybe I should demo. Let's pull out another helmet. All this pulling out is making me tired. This is my old belt helmet. I got it new cheap pads already because the old ones have been worn out. With Dango, there. Clip! Clip it on! Clip it on! Very easy. And then, which all my helmets have, is a lapel mic. So you just buy a lapel mic on the internet, really cheap. You know, wire it in here and make sure that the little nubbin, <laughs> the little nubbin is by your mouth and you have your little wire over here. Oh, there are so many limitations with the Hero 8 because like, first of all, in one, you can't even get batteries yet. Well, I'm still trying to get aftermarket batteries because I need to buy crap load of batteries. Another thing I don't like is there is a, a metal thing here which supposedly makes it waterproof but now I don't have that little mini USB jack and then you have to get one of these things, a dongle. And these things aren't cheap. Put this in here and you have like a non-waterproof GoPro, a non-dustproof GoPro and uh, this big ugly thing hanging out there. But that's okay, let's get work. There we go. Ah. I will probably just put some double-sided tape here. Get the little mic wire and put it in there. And I'll probably just put like plastic or tape there to avoid dust and everything. It's very ugly. 
So GoPro, I hope you guys can come up with stuff to make this thing prettier because like what's the point? But anyway, this is supposed to be good vibes. I'm not ranting about my GoPro Hero 8. Of course, I charged up my Cardo Scala Pack Top Bolt available in the Philippines through Ride Manila. You can search them on social media. It's a nice shop in Makati. Near Sagiha, a bar which I used to frequent with my band, which is not active anymore. Once you've got your riding gear in check, don't forget you need your helmet, your jacket, your pants, your gloves, your shoes. Now you need your motorcycle. Cause it's not a moto vlog if you ain't on a moto. Let me take you to the garage. Ah, one of those transitions. I am testing my new setup. And that is the reason why my motorcycles <laughs> are not parked here because it's full parking <laughs> i took out the ktm already over the weekend because um my buddy borrowed it j mango see way too many cars here i need to get this tank guard changed i haven't gotten to customizing this motorcycle yet i should be doing it soon i picked this up uh over the week on the let me show you what's going on. Alrighty. This new setup with this stupid ass thing dangling here. <gasps> Woo! Trying out my setup and it feels so good to be back on the bike. This is for real. The first time that I'm riding again. Yeah! 21 runs like a dream. By the way, today she is three years old. Three years ago when I picked her up at KTM BGC so I am testing out the GoPro Hero 8 I hope the placement in the angle works perfectly I hope you can see what I usually like you to see my lovely gloves <laughs> good old faithful Alpine stars this is, these are the SMX2 with touch tips I like these for when I use my cell phone ah I have to put back my bar mount so nice to be riding! This is... I literally haven't ridden in five freaking months. My last ride was in Bohol. And that time I took uh, a Honda Zoomer. Yeah, so it's nice to be back. Checking up on my motorcycles. 21 is the only one that's parked with me. The other two bikes are in the secret garage location. I won't let you guys know where. But let's go check up on my bikes! There are my babies! There they are! <laughs> there my bikes are! Oh my god, they are filthy! Look at that, cobwebs! <laughs> ah, wow! Okay, the moment of truth, people! <laughs> the moment of truth! Get my keys over here, do you remember this bear? Okay, firing this baby up. Look at that, spiders have made it their home. I don't even want to sit on it because it's filthy. Okay. Oi. Okay, wow, I got worried there. What was that blinking stuff? Okay, kill switch on. Neutral. Ooh. It ain't starting. Oh, my gas light is up. Check if there's fuel. I know I put fuel on this thing. Yeah, still sounds like there's fuel. Let's give that another go. Okay, it's just making a clicking sound. I am sorry, baby. I am sorry I've neglected you. My chain needs to be lubricated. It's looking rusty. Ah. Okay, next bike, next bike. Uh, the key to my Kawasaki. It's lovely in New York Marathon. I ran the New York Marathon in 2009. Oh, this is Erica's bike, by the way. Okay, <laughs> spiders again have made a home out of it. Let's move you here. And 
Wow. Okay. Kill switch on, kill switch off. Hmm. <laughs> Hopeless. Okay. So I have uh, two bikes parked for now. Fuck. <laughs>